So in my quest for another microphone, much like my Audio Pro brand, yes, Audio Pro. I did videos about this. I love this microphone. This is a great podcast mi microphone, but it's fifty dollars. And the other day, I lost my temper. I was in a Zoom meeting, and I sort of lost my temper, and I threw it across the room, and I broke it. And I don't have forty nine ninety nine to buy a new one. So what did I do? I looked for something that was similar to it, but cheaper. And so I found this thing, and it's called Zeal Sound. USB condenser microphone and I hope it's everything my audio pro is but what did I pay for the zeal sound well I got it for free okay so there was this deal going on buy one zeal sound gaming microphone uh, that's $55.99 by the way it had a coupon that I found on another website that made that $55.99 microphone only $29.87 but if you buy that you get the Zeal Sound USB microphone ASMR microphone, a condenser, blah, 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 plug and play uh, microphone for only a dollar, well, tax was $1.32, but I did get it for free. And uh, so this one I just did a review on, it was terrible. So now we're going to, I'm, I'm now, I'm not looking forward to this one, if you know what I mean. We're going to unbox it and test it out. All right, so the other one was a real shit show. I'll be honest with you. Excuse my language, but I'm going to be honest here. I'm not getting paid for these reviews. So if I was getting paid, I would be very professional, if you know what I mean. So you're going to get the real deal, the real scoop on what I think about this and not some bullshit lies that most YouTubers do when they do product reviews because they are being paid. Actually, most of them are being paid to do these reviews. Let's just raise the stand up a little there we go uh they do get these products for free from amazon sellers and then they pretend like oh i just bought this and let's check this item out oh my god it's got five stars it's the best thing ever well guess what you don't get any bullshit with me all right zeal sound usb uh, condenser microphone it's one key mute which i actually need for when i actually scream out expletives during zoom uh yeah i can hit the mute button and they don't have to hear me losing my temper plug and play very important to me real-time monitor you can plug stereo headphones in here to listen to how badly you sound yeah and uh volume control okay all right i mean it was only 30 what was it 39.99 but i paid nothing for it okay and no, they didn't send it to me for free. I found a coupon on, I think it was a website called YoFreeSamples.com. You can find a lot of uh, coupons for really good deals. Okay, that's what it looks like when it comes. And it actually looks a lot like my Audio Pro. I will show you. Oh, wait, uh, actually. Yeah, it has that same look. Let's hope it has that same sound. Because the Audio Pro, believe it or not, was a really good mic. All right, so we got a smashed up. Yeah, smash, smashed up uh, like wind guard or whatever you call that. All right, let's get this out if we can without breaking it. And how do you do that? I'll be back. All right, so I got the microphone out. I have to admit, I'm going to hold these. Oh, it's heavier than my Audio Pro. It's actually much heavier than my Audio Pro. Let's see the, what they give you. Where's the instructions? Is there any instructions? Well, I don't see any. Uh, oof, that's actually... Not very good. What about dumb people like me? Oh, it's in the bottom. Okay, they didn't tell you to look in the bottom, but I'm telling you, check out the bottom because that's where the instructions will be. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's check this out and see what we got here. All right, we're going to test it with my phone and I might test it with my computer. Okay, here's the dealio. When you test these microphones out, these plug and plays, by the way, here's the accessories. It comes with a USB 2.0 to, I believe, USB-C. Yes, very, very good. That's important for me. I needed that. You also have a boom arm converter, like screw. That's actually good if you have a boom arm, but it has a built-in stand that you can actually take off with a wrench. Very cool. You have another connector. This, uh, actually, you can plug this in. So what you do with this, this little extra piece they gave you, is if you want to make this uh, cord here a C to a C instead of a USB 2.0, you can just plug the USB 2.0 into this, and this plug comes to uh, turns into a C to a C, which is really even better than I thought. Okay, so uh, without the pop filter on, this is what it looks like. It's actually, oh, it's it's really heavy. In the picture, I thought the stand was going to be plastic. But it turns out that the stand is actually here. I don't know if you could see this. 
It's actually metal. And it's a heavy duty metal. There we go. This is metal also. The screws are metal as well. That's actually really impressive. Okay, so I didn't think I was going to give, because I was so mad at the other one. The other one, I actually put it back in the box. I think I might return it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised with the build quality on this one. You can see, there we go. There's a, uh, you can actually see through it. Oh yeah, there's two discs. I don't know what you call that. You audiophiles out there are probably laughing at me right now. But there you go. Now this can be adjusted. On the top, we have another spot to speak through. Now, I don't know if it's better to speak through here, where you see those two discs, or face your mouth through this way. So we're going to test that. We're going to find that out and see which is the better way. Okay, so on here we have, okay, right here on the back, you can connect your studio headphones in. That's an important thing so you can actually hear if you sound bad or not. Here's the C-plug port. There you go to attach it to your PC or your phone or your iPad or your tablet. Okay, here we go. Right on here, we have the mic. So you could, it, it's actually the gain. So you can raise it up or down. And you just turn this little toggle. And then over here is for the headphones. So uh, you can raise or lower the volume. And then this would be the mute button, which in case you want to curse while you're uh, having to use your microphone, you could just press that. Or you want to gossip and talk bad about the person you're talking to through the microphone to someone else in your house. Just hit the mute. There you go. Let's test it out. I'm going to plug it in. Um, actually, I'm going to take the plug. I'm going to convert it to a C to a C and attach it to my phone. And we're going to hear the difference. We're going to hear if it sounds any better than the built-in mic on my actual Samsung Android phone. I want to see if this is plug and play. And I also want to see if this is actually uh, sounding better than the Samsung S22 Ultra's built-in microphone. We will find that out in a moment. All right, so I'm just going to plug the USB part in right here. I always forget which way these suckers go. There you go. All right, and now this end will go into the back of the mic. Let's go ahead and do that. Just like so. Don't push it too hard. And why can't I do this? Because I'm a moron. Wait, hold on. Hold on. What am I doing wrong? It's because I'm on video. I get, I get, um, what's that? That performance anxiety thing? There we go. All right. So let's go ahead, plug it into my phone. Actually, let me put headphones in here so I can even hear if this thing goes on. So I'm going to just plug my headphones right into the back of this. I can't even see where the, oh, here it is. Make sure it's in there good. Okay, and it is. And all right, so I'm going to put the headphones on. And we're going to test this out. Okay, so testing this out, I would test it on my PC, but there's no way to record this through my PC to test it out. Um, that's the problem. So uh, we're going to be stuck uh, doing it through my phone. The problem is, is testing these through the phone with the cord, the plug-in cord, uh, is that the port on your phone only has 100 milliamps of power as opposed to your PC having 500 milliamps of power. So it's not going to sound nearly half as good on my phone doing the test than in person on the PC. So I just wanted to show you for uh, comparison purposes, the Audio Pro, by the way, here's the Audio Pro. So we have the Audio Pro on the left. You can see it has a much taller uh, footprint. It's much taller. And the uh, Zill Sounds is much shorter. You can see the uh, difference right there. But the crazy thing is the Zeal sound is much heavier than the Audio Pro. That really surprised me. It's solid metal, and uh, yeah, it's actually sturdier. It feels way sturdier to the touch than the Audio Pro, which is also made out of metal. Hmm. Okay, so uh, you want to monitor how it sounds. So you need uh, you don't need it, but it's uh, recommended that you have uh, studio headphones. Doesn't have to be expensive headphones, but 3.8 millimeter uh, plug to go into the 3.0 millimeter jack right there. Three point, uh, what is it? 3.5 mil. Yeah. And then uh, boom. Then you're gonna plug this into your phone or your PC or your iPad or your tablet. Anything that has a C port. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna test this microphone out. I'm gonna test the different gains. Now, the only thing I don't like about this microphone is, now I like everything about it. It has the mute button, which is great. The microphone, you can actually listen to uh, your headphones through here. Um, you can raise or lower the volume. The only thing I don't like is there's no indicator, or at least I don't see it because of this luminescence. You don't see, I don't, yeah, um, it's at full gain. And I do not see any indicator to let you know what level you're at. And that sort of sucks. So you're going to have to feel around for it. I'm going to start it out at full gain. Also, with these microphones, if you don't have a, like one of those boom arms and you just have it out on your desk like this, it's going to make sounds. If you tap on your computer, you're going to hear the clickety clack. If you smack your hands on the counter, if you move this, you're going to hear it reverberate right through the microphone. And so to stop that from happening, if you have a boom arm and you can actually have the, you know, keep the wires out of sight so you're not moving them around, you won't hear that. So I'm going to plug it into my phone and we're going to test it out now. Okay, so the problem is, is my husband decided to turn on the washing machine and dryer as I'm doing this. Now these microphones pick up background sounds. So if you're not in a soundproof room with the door shut, and I don't have that in my house, the only room that has a door is the bathroom and the bedrooms, and he's in there right now. So um, in the kitchen, where everything is loud, you hear everything. Now I have this on the lowest, like actually a low gain, and you could probably not even hear me now. I'm standing, f I'm actually sitting far back from here. I'm going to raise the gain. You're going to hear the sounds of me touching the toggles and the switches. You could hear that. You could hear if I move the microphone, you hear that. That's why you want a boom arm. The only thing I don't like, another con, is that these buttons are so close together that when you go to turn, your finger bangs into the other buttons and you'll hear it if you're in the middle of a podcast, if you're trying to raise or lower the gain. And that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm going to raise it all the way up and you're going to hear the washing machine and dryer in the background. Uh, you'll hear the dryer, like all the clothes spinning around. Now I'm standing at least, uh, I'm going to say at least 16 to 18 inches in back of the microphone right now that's how far away i am from it and you can actually hear me with the full gain now the louder the gain or the higher the gain the louder you sound but the louder the background sounds pick up and i'm going to be quiet one moment you'll hear the clothes spinning around in the dryer upstairs on the top floor you hear that Okay, and you hear the hum of my refrigerator right next to me. So I'm going to really get up close to the microphone for a moment. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm really close to the microphone right now. I am like, I'm not kidding you, about five inches away. Full gain, and you can hear me very loudly. Now I'm going to put my mouth very close to it. So I get louder. As you can hear me, I'm much louder. Now I'm even louder. My mouth is about an inch away from the microphone, but it sounds muffled. So I'm going to lower the gain. So I lower the gain. My mouth is closer and it sounds quieter, which is good. You don't hear as much crap going on in the background. Now, what I'm standing very far away from it now, full gain, but you're going to want to tuck the wires away. But you see my headphone wires are here, so it's going to it's going to make noise. If you're doing a podcast, you're going to hear that. That's why you need the boom arm. Definitely need the boom arm if you're doing something professional. All right, so I'm going to just move this. You're going to hear it. Okay. I'm just going to Okay, I'm going to put my mouth near it. Now, we're at full gain. We're at full gain. Okay. So I am standing actually about 10 inches away from it. Now I wanted to read you some spoken word. I'm going to lower the uh, gain just a little bit. Now we're at about 75, I'd say. My mouth is about 10 inches away. And what I'm going to do is lower the gain a little more and put my mouth right up to the microphone because the higher the gain and the closer you are, the more muffled it's going to sound but louder. So now um, the gain is about 75%, but I sound very muffled. Um, I do sound muffled. I don't sound as clear as I normally do. going to lower the gain. Okay, so I lowered the gain a little more. And as you can hear, the tone of my voice gets much clearer. 
It sounds a lot better. I'm going to lower it some more and I'm going to go within like an inch of the microphone. Okay, so now my mouth is over the microphone. You can hear me. You can hear me loud and clear. And it's much quieter. You don't hear the hum of the refrigerator as much and the washer and the dryer, which is a good thing. You don't want to hear the crap going on in the background of your house. If you have a bunch of assholes in the next room and you're trying to do like a YouTube live stream or you're gaming, you know what I mean? It's a little better. Okay, I'm going to lower it some more. Okay, so now the gain is really down low, probably about 30%. My mouth is up to the microphone, very close, probably within an inch or two, and uh, everything quieted down much more. Now I'm going to raise that gain up and put my mouth up to the microphone, and you're going to hear how, wor how much worse it sounds. You're going to hear me actually turning the knob. Now I'm about six inches away from the mic. I'm going to put my mouth right up to it. Hello, this is way too loud. The gain is way too high. But if you want to do a ASMR, hello, I'm doing ASMR. I'm going to smack my lips. I'm smacking my lips right now. You can hear me breathing. It sounds very creepy. I don't like ASMR. Okay, so I, I just pulled my mouth away from the microphone full gain. I'm going to lower that gain. Okay, it's about 80% now, and I'm about 12 inches, maybe 15 inches away from the mic. My God, I'm getting so many, so many YouTube notifications, and I'm going to be making a racket trying to get rid of them. Hold on one second. All right, let's do a little spoken word, and I found the thing about anxiety, which actually touches me and moves me. So let's go ahead, um, and I'm going to put my mouth close to it. Let me just move all the wires out of the way. That's the problem all the time. All right, here we go. I have to take a deep breath for this one. I have, I'm going to do ASMR. Deep breath. <sighs> okay. I should do ASMR, spoken word, but most of you will think that's creepy. Okay, all right. I wake up feeling, oh wait, I don't like the gain. <laughs> I gotta lower that. Yeah, that sounds like shiz. Okay, let's try it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll lower this gain. Okay, are you ready? It's a little too low for my liking. Go up a little higher, just a little higher. Okay. I'm gonna take a deep breath because I'm nervous. I have anxiety and I'm reading about anxiety. So, you know, all right. I wake up feeling panicked. My pills are in the cabinet. Takes all the strength I have just to ignore them as I pass it. Man, I hope this feeling passes soon. Been hell and back, it's barely noon. I'm scared to go outside. Shit, I'm surprised I even left my room. And it feels like no one understands. How bad I'd love to join my friends. It's hard to breathe, I'm anxious, and I'll end up staying home instead. The doctor hasn't helped me much. He signs his name, I buy the drugs. I'm feeling weird, I take one out. It makes me feel comfortably numb. Man, I can't handle my emotions like I used to. It's all different now. I start to sweat, I feel confused. My fingers shake, my heartbeat pounds. And I'm feeling claustrophobic every time the closet closes because my skeletons are in there, so I have to leave it open. Open. I'm just nervous over nothing, even shit I can't control. I used to love to be in public, now I'd rather be alone. And even though it's difficult, it's probably for the best. If I didn't make a change, I would have drank myself to death. Then I wake up feeling better than I did the day before. Then it hits me out of nowhere and almost knocks me to the floor. A heaviness, a readiness to get back into bed. A sadness that I can't explain, a cloud over my head. My deepest, darkest fears feel like they're filling up an ocean. And I'm floating on the surface with no hope to keep me going. I've been down on myself. Man, I forgot how to believe in me. I never asked for help. Now I struggle with it secretly. I wish that it was something I could sweep under the carpet. Trying to hide it all the time only makes the battle harder. Man, I lived a lot of moments that I probably could have, should have cherished. Now they seem so far away from me, I'm angry and embarrassed. I can't even tell my parents. They don't need to keep on worrying. My mama and papa don't deserve to have to bury me. I hope the pills I have will hold me over for a while. I'll keep searching for the strength to find my smile. 
So what do I think about this deal? Okay, the Zeal Sound Gaming mic right here, this one that was 55 and change is absolute shit. This one, the Zeal Sound, this one that we're actually reviewing now, much better. Is it the best? The answer is no, but I paid $33.88 for two microphones. Okay, so my Audio Pro was uh, $50. So I paid $33.88. And without tax, it was way less than $33. And uh, yeah, for $33, you're getting two microphones. I would say if you can find that deal, I would get them both. This I can sell in a flea market and make some money. If it sells for $55 on Amazon, I'll just say, hey, 30 bucks, anyone, 30 bucks. Sell it in the flea market, get some cash money. It'll pay for this microphone and I'm happy. So what do I rate it? Uh, it's not the Shure. It's not the uh, Audio Technica. It's a, yeah, it's a podcast microphone or a gaming microphone. That's it. That's about it. That's all. I think it's really good ASMR. It's ASMR approved. It, uh, you can hear smacking of the lips. You can hear me speak and whisper. I'll raise the gain so you can hear it better. If you want to do that weird shit. Okay, hold on. We're raising the gain. Okay, so if you want to do ASMR and creep people out, well, a lot of people find this weird, fucked up shit really cool and interesting. They like that whispery type of sound. It sends chills down this spine. This microphone will actually send chills down people's spine. I would say buy it. Look in the reviews. Um, actually, my uh, description below. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm such an asshole. Okay, I'm not making fun of the ASMR crowd. But yeah, I'd say buy it. It's a four, four, four and a half stars uh, for the price. For $33.88. Yeah, for two of them. Okay, but this one sucks. So it's like you're paying $33.88 for one. Okay? All right, that's my review. And I'm sticking to it.